After spending nine years and 30 trips to Zambia, Africa, building a scaled and sustained food security project, it was time to bring our project home. This year, we launched Project One Circle and we've begun work in 31 First Nations across the country. Today, we would like to highlight our projects taking place in Muscaday, Mistawasis Nihayawak, and Muskeg Lake First Nations. Through our needs assessment with each nation, we quickly determined economic development and food security are pressing needs. COVID-19 has only heightened these needs. This year, we have launched the building of four greenhouses, three aquaponics facilities, and two food forests. The four greenhouses were built this past summer, and they are the first step in securing food security, supplying each nation with year-round supply of fresh fruits and vegetables while increasing revenue. 600,000 pounds of food will be grown each year from the greenhouses, providing a new income stream of over $200,000 for each nation, while adding to food security. Each greenhouse is also built beside a school, allowing students and community members to learn hands-on about traditional land-based learning and sustainable agriculture. Our second project is the building of three aquaponics facilities, one in each nation. Aquaponics is an innovative system of aquaculture in which the waste produced by fish supplies nutrients for plants grown hydroponically, which in turn purify the water. Compared to traditional farming, aquaponics uses 90% less water. Aquaponics continuously recycles water through the plants and fish tank, so the only water lost is through evaporation from the fish tank. An aquaponics system utilizes the ammonia and nitrogen waste from the fish by converting the ammonia into nitrates, which are then recycled back to the plants. The plants then consume the nitrates as their main nutrient source. This system provides nutrients and an oxygen-rich environment for the roots of aquaponic plants. The plants grow three times as fast and produce eight times more food per acre compared to traditional farming. The innovative technology of aquaponics also provides a tremendous opportunity for commercialization. The aquaponics systems are being designed to train First Nations staff on the operation and maintenance of the system. Once the nations are trained and ready, the facilities will be expanded to much larger commercial businesses. The demand for seafood and fish products is greater than what is possible to catch in the wild. Within the next 10 years, aquaculture output has to double production to keep up with global demand. But the biggest opportunity is right here in North America. We produce only 1% of global aquaculture production, yet we consume nearly 13% of the world production. The demand is here and our First Nation partners are going to supply it. We are sure you're wondering where all of our funding came from. Our project in partnership with Wabatec Business Development Corporation is fully funded by the Department of Fisheries and Oceans Northern Integrated Commercial Fishery Initiative. Our third project is the building of two food forests. Bringing together Indigenous approaches to agriculture, innovative permaculture design, and community involvement, our team has developed food forests in Mistawasis, Nehawak, and Muscaday First Nation. A food forest is the design and maintenance of agriculturally productive systems which have the diversity, stability, and resilience of natural ecosystems. It is a harmonious integration of the landscape, with people providing their food in a sustainable way while also providing much needed revenue. Our food forests are aligned with the nation's desire to reconnect people with their traditional practices around food, culture, and agriculture. Community members are concerned that the intensive agricultural development and land use practices, in combination with the impacts of climate change, have resulted in the die-off of crops like berries and fruit trees. Food forests are sustainable as they do not have to be replanted year after year, and they are very resilient as they mimic a natural ecosystem. Food forests are also 100% organic. They depend heavily on healthy ecosystems and are not sprayed with herbicides or pesticides. The goal is to create a fully sustainable ecosystem, attracting birds and other pollinators by planting fruit trees like apple, pear, plum, cherry, and Saskatoon berry. All three nations are excited by our project, leading to new sources of revenue and sustainable food security for over 7,000 people. Over the next 12 months, the greenhouses, aquaponics, and food forests can supply the three nations with a total of 725,000 pounds of food worth over $835,000. We have met the goals of increasing food security while creating new streams of revenue for each nation. Our project has been purposely designed to bring together the best of modern agriculture, generate income, while reviving traditional Indigenous approaches to food production. We would like to thank TD for giving us this incredible opportunity to showcase our passionate work.